We installed this mini split almost 10 years ago, and this is the only heating and cooling for this whole entire house. This house is about 3,000 square foot, and it's insulated with foam insulation. I'll show you the unit. This is a Samsung three-ton four-way ceiling cassette. And this is the only heating and cooling for this house. And it does a good job. This is underneath that floor. You can see that closed cell foam there. This is the outdoor unit that we hung on the wall on a wall mount bracket. Oh, there's a little wasp nest, get out of there. That video was from November 20th, 2022. This video is from May 26th, 2024. So that project I did, I did that around 11 years ago and it still works. And the reason I was there that day was we just finished installing a new indoor coil for that four way ceiling cassette. That indoor coil was leaking at nine years. The customer never had an issue before that indoor coil and they have not had an issue since we replaced that indoor coil. Thankfully, the unit was registered. The warranty was 10 years for the parts and they got that part under warranty. And I'm pretty sure they had 10 year parts and labor. So they didn't have to pay for anything but maintenance. Today's video is to help you to know how you can do this, what you need to know to be able to do this, and to teach you more about foam insulation and what I do whenever I uh, give the customer this option. Because since this project, I've done hundreds just like it. But I just did a video where I put in a 360 ceiling cassette in a barn dominium, and I've got a bunch of comments with a bunch of skepticism. And I understand totally why. I understand that you can look at this and go, there's no way, there's no way this, this, this will work because there's not a, a mini split in each bedroom or there's not a vent in each bedroom, but it works. And I'm gonna explain in this video why, so that I can help you be a better contractor and a better technician in the field. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians slash Homeowners. I'm Tad, let's get started. So that project from 11 years ago, we installed a three ton four way ceiling cassette in the middle of the home. There were four bedrooms with two bathrooms. And I explained to the homeowner when we were giving the option that I needed them to undercut the doors two inches. Either that or we needed to have a way for air to travel to the bedrooms, whether that was cutting a hole in the wall somewhere and having a vent or a diffuser on each side to pass the air. Usually they don't like the idea of cutting holes in the wall and I agree I wouldn't do that. So they undercut the doors two inches and they have bath fans for the bathrooms. When I gave them that option, I also gave them an option for ductwork and a gas split system, right? So I gave them a price for a three ton unit and ductwork, which would have been holes in every room for vents, a main return somewhere with a thermostat, and then they would have had the gas furnace in the attic. And the price for that was around 12 to 14 grand. The price for the four way ceiling cassette was at around $8,000. So they saved $4,000 or more going with that four way ceiling cassette. Their electric bill was $60 every single month. And to this day, they are super happy. And that job was in Purrier, Tennessee. We only had to work on it one time so far, and that was to replace the indoor coil. And since then, they've had no issues. So that is the experience so far for that customer. But I want to tell you one thing that did happen that made me understand that foam insulated houses are so much more different than standard insulation. Shortly after we installed the equipment, I got a call from the customer saying it was super hot inside and the unit was still on. It was still running. I got there. The fan was running on the four way ceiling cassette, but the outdoor unit was shut off and it wasn't pumping any more heat out of the four way ceiling cassette. They asked, why is it so hot in here? The reason it was so hot in there is because the foam insulated house maintains the temperature so well. And all of their windows were facing the sun. The sun was up, it was in the afternoon, and that sun was beating on those windows. So that's when I realized that foam insulated houses are so amazing that once you reach temperature, that temperature is maintained. And because there is no air entering the house from outside and none of that air inside exiting the house, that it's gonna maintain temperature. Let's talk about the project that I've got right now, which is the barn dominium with the 360 ceiling cassette. When I met the customer and I walked inside the barn dominium and I looked up, I thought of a wedding venue that I did 
with a barn where I put 360 ceiling cassettes in it. And I showed her that project and I said, this is what I can do. And I said, have you had any other bids? And she said, yes, I've had bids. I said, well, what are they pricing? She said, eight mini splits. I said, eight mini splits, eight wall mount air handlers. That sounds like a nightmare. Why? Because you got to make sure you wash every one of those filters every month. Then you got to make sure annually you clear out all the drain lines. And then in four or five years, if the blower wheels get dirty, you're going to clean all those blower wheels or once a year. And then if you don't clean the blower wheels, then you're going to be changing motors. So that just sounds like a nightmare. And I said, we can do this. And the competition was pricing their job and their option for those eight mini splits around $20,000. I'm pricing mine for around $10,000. So the customer can save 10 grand, have a lot less maintenance, and I think they're gonna be a lot happier. Plus I had a project and a video for that project that I could show them. If you are interested in checking out that um, project, I'll put a link down below so you can check out that wedding venue, or I'll put the link right here so you can check it out. Airflow is the key though, right? I told the customer, I said, we gotta make sure we get air in all those bedrooms. And she said, well, I'm going to leave all these areas up above the doors. I'm going to leave all that open. And I'm like, that's perfect. That's great. So we don't even have to worry about undercutting the doors. You've got all these areas above all the doors that are going to be open. So I don't have to worry about airflow. Plus, in cooling mode, that indoor fan is going to run almost 24-7 on this 360 ceiling cassette because most mini splits, the indoor fans run all the time. The only thing that the customer has to do is they have to make sure they get a dehumidifier. So they can go to Lowe's and get a little three or $400 dehumidifier with a built-in pump, set it in the floor in the middle of the area somewhere, and then boom, we don't ever have to worry about humidity. A good humidity range is in between 40 to 60%. Anything below 40 is not good. Anything above 60 is definitely not good because you may have some mold. I have been to houses where a contractor oversized equipment, it short cycled, it didn't run long enough, the humidity was high, and in the customer's closet where they keep all their clothes and all their shoes was covered in mold. And instead of replacing the unit and the ductwork because it would cost a lot more, we offer a whole house dehumidifier as the option. We offer the whole house dehumidifier connected to a dehumidistat, we set it for 60, anything above 60, dehumidifier kicks on, and that controls the humidity for the customer. Will ductless mini splits control humidity? Absolutely not. Even though there is a mode that says dry mode on the wireless remote controller, on the wired controller, it does not mean that you can set it for 60% or 50% and it will control that humidity. It will go down to 50 or 60 and then shut off. No. Dry mode is going to keep the unit in the cooling mode. It is going to help you to be able to have more water draining out because it is going to lower the fan speed, it is going to adjust the compressor speed to make sure that you remove more humidity, but it is not going to help you to be able to control it to a percentage. So do not think that a mini split will help you to control humidity. You have to make sure the customer gets a dehumidifier if they have a foam house or a whole house and tie it into the HVAC system. Now I want you to comment below and I want you to let me know what you would do in this situation. Let's say you go to a customer's house to give them an estimate on a new unit. After you do a load calculation, you find out that they have a three ton unit there, but when you do the load calculation, it comes out that the load is only two and a half ton. So you go to the customer and you say, hey, you really need a two and a half ton. And they say, no, 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 we want a three ton. Bigger, bigger is better. But you know that's not right because bigger is not better because that can end in short cycling, humidity issues. It, it costs more to run that larger unit, right? They're going to save more money with that two and a half ton. And maybe you found some insulation in their ceiling was missing. So they can insulate you know, above their ceiling and boom, they'll even have a better um, load calculation, right? They won't even need that two and a half ton maybe. But they come up to you and they say, well, this contractor gave us a price on a three ton. And then they come up with another invoice and say, this one gave us a three ton too. Uh, why are you coming up with this two and a half ton? What are you going to do? Are you going to stick with what you know? Are you going to write out and tell them all the reasons why they need to go with that two and a half ton? Or are you going to fall back and you're going to go, you know what? If they price you a three ton, I'll give you a price on a three ton too. What do you think Tad's going to do? Ain't no way. And I'll tell you something I've done in the past. I have told the customer, let me put in a two and a half ton. 
all right? Because you're going to save money already from my bid because that three tons a little more, right? Let me do this. You save money in the long run. I promise you on the electric bill and it still heats and cools your house. You add that insulation like I told you to. You go with this company. Maybe I give them a, a, ref, a referral. I give another company a referral so they can do the insulation. So I like to, I like to have other contractors in my circle of trust that I can um, offer to the customer. That way they don't have to go shopping around and get somebody that maybe won't do a good job. So I say, put that two and a half ton unit in. And if it doesn't heat and cool your home, I will put a three ton unit on me. I have done that in the past. That may not be something you want to do. You may not own your company. You may not be invested. You may just be a technician, but I'll promise you, if you know what you're doing, if you do the proper work, if you do the load calculation, if you check the duct size, if you check the insulation, I promise you, you will have a great experience. And because of this, because of me doing the footwork and trying new things, this is what's made my experience so much better. So today, I just wanted to help you guys, give you more experience, give you better perspective, and I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. I love you guys. Stay healthy, stay happy. This is Tad reminding you, I'll keep you cool if you let me.